Welcome, you have tuned into the Department of Medical Biophysics Fall Preview Livestream. I'm Dr. John McGuire, Associate Professor and Chair of the Undergraduate Program in Medical Biophysics. You are thinking about coming to Western in London, Ontario, and this short video will tell you a few things about our program, what it's like to be a student, both in terms of studying and being part of our learning community. You will also hear a few words about where this program can help lead you, whether it's health and medical professions, clinical service teams, science, public or health sector organizations. When you choose one of our programs, whether it's a major, honor specialization, or just take one of our popular courses to supplement your degree at Western, you open yourself to learning concepts and principles from an interdisciplinary field that encompasses medicine, basic medical sciences, physical sciences, and engineering. You learn not only about theory, but also applications. You will not only learn about modern technologies and modes for imaging the human body and processes, or how radiation physics and medicine combine. The principles, concepts, and topics in our courses are interwoven with other fields of basic medical science. For example, are you interested in the heart, blood vessel, and lung disease? Maybe you're interested in drug discovery, cancer, neuroscience, genetics. Well, your instructors are doing all those things. Your instructors are located across different parts of Western's community, including not only the research institutions, but also the healthcare institutions too. You can even start taking our courses in second year. In third year, you take a module of courses. For example, I teach you about the circulatory and respiratory systems. A unique part of our third year module is our project course. This is where you get to join one of our many faculty research programs for an eight to 10 week project. This will help make your classroom lessons real and give you valuable practical experience. This gives you an advantage for employment. These are not prepackaged lab exercises that are common to science curriculum. These are real world experiences. The student cohorts in our program are concentrated groups with small classroom sizes for upper year courses with small student to instructor ratios. Whether it is a classroom or a tutorial, our teaching assistants are, will be available. Many of these instructors and our teaching assistants are previous Western and Schulich graduates. But enough for me, let's listen to some other people you will meet when you come to Western and talk about medical biophysics. My name is Jeff Frisbee, and I am the chair of the Department of Medical Biophysics here in Schulich. Overarching in the entire department is the concept of medical imaging. We have a very uh, diverse medical imaging group that specializes in literally all kinds of medical imaging under a huge variety of clinical conditions, whether it's neuroscience, musculoskeletal, cancer, cardiovascular, cerebrovascular, all kinds of things. And, a, and we actually have a growing profile in um, lung imaging as well, in terms, especially with things like COVID and vaping and things like that, and how those impact lung function. If you want to do very focused sort of wet lab research, um, very easy to do in medical biophysics. If you want to do very theoretical, computational, how to improve, you know, how to improve imaging capabilities, how to improve musculoskeletal health outcomes, again, very, very, you know, very capable of handling that for you as well. Um, the one thing that differentiates medical biophysics from most of the other medical science disciplines is that we have to be quantitatively accurate. So when you think about what we do here, it really is the marriage of biology, physics, mathematics, engineering, all of them taken together to produce sort of an integrated phenotype and integrative outcome. Um, I thank you very much for your time and I strongly encourage you if you have interest in these to contact us. Hi, my name is Kathleen. I'm a clinical medical physicist at the London Regional Cancer Program. And I'm here today to talk to you very briefly about how medical biophysics can lead you to clinical service. So we kill cancer with physics in the radiation therapy department at the cancer program. This is a glioma cell, which is a really nasty type of tumor that's found in the brain, and we can kill it using radiation. We use a great big machine like this. This is a linear accelerator um, where the radiation comes out ahead of the LINAC to treat the patient 
that's lying beneath on a couch like this, which would extend into that space. And I'm just going to show you what it looks like when it moves. This great big linear accelerator rotate, can rotate all the way around the patient to treat from any angle. This patient is being treated for head and neck cancer. So they have a, um, a cancer in the neck area. So this is a um, x-ray image of their chin down to their shoulders, including their lungs. And we're delivering dose to this region of the neck um, where this box, green box, is where the radiation can come out. And we can shape that radiation using these metal leaves on the side. And as we step through the delivery of the radiation, we can move those leaves so that we can adjust how much radiation is coming out at any time point. We can give a little bit more dose to some areas and a little bit less dose to others, depending on where the tumor is and depending on how thick the patient is in any one spot. And this radiation, when it's all delivered, will look something like this. So you can see in this image down here, which slices through the patient um, from front to back, just like this. And we can see their mouth up here and their brain and spinal cord and their chest is here. And we're delivering radiation right to their neck because there's a tumor in there. And that red area is where we're giving the most radiation. And we're giving a little bit less up here where the tumor might have spread. But we're, you can see that we're very carefully not giving much radiation to the spinal cord or the brain or the mouth where there's lots of sensitive tissue. So through this, physicists can really be part of cancer treatment, we make sure that that dosimetry representation or the dose representation to the patient is, is just as accurate as we can possibly make it. And we work with dosimetrists to make sure that that happens. We also work with radiation therapists to make sure the machines are working exactly right and are delivering the radiation in exactly the right way and exactly as how we've modeled it. The radiation oncologist is the one who oversees it all and who prescribes the radiation just like any doctor would prescribe medicine. And that circle is supported by all kinds of people helping the patient through their cancer treatment process. Above all, uh, clinical medical physicists keep people safe from uh, radiation. So we keep these, the um, patients safe to make sure that the rest of their bodies don't get a, too much radiation. We keep the staff safe who are here every day to make sure they're not getting too much radiation overall. And we make sure the public who visit us occasionally also are kept safe. And that's a big part of our job is to keep people safe and to understand the radiation really well to make sure that we really are keeping them safe because it's not something you can see, but it's something we can measure. So with clinical medical physics, you can certainly work in the area that I work in, which is radiation oncology. You can also work in nuclear medicine uh, and MR imaging and diagnostic radiology. The key core piece here is that we're always working as part of a clinical team. So clinical medical physicists are always part of a dynamic team who think in different ways and solve problems in different ways and so can often come up with very creative solutions. We also work with really cool toys and we spend a lot of time checking things to make sure things are right. So we're meticulous. Um, and if any of these things really interest you as being part of a cancer care journey, but from really the technical side, I'd encourage you to explore medical biophysics at the University of Western Ontario. Thanks, and it's been lovely to talk to you today. I am Sunita Denman Terry. I'm a professor here in the department, uh, as well as a scientist in at the Lawson Health Research Institute in the programs of metabolism, diabetes, and imaging. Um, these are my pronouns, and this is my Twitter handle. Uh, in addition to all the professional stuff that I do, I also am a mentor, a feminist, a swimmer, and a cook. Um, and I'd like to acknowledge uh, that the Anishinaabe, the Haudenosaunee, Attawandaran, and Lenape peoples are the original stewards of this territory and continue to live here along with peoples of the world. Um, the neat thing about molecular imaging is that it enables you to look within, within cells, within tissues, and within the whole animal in order to explore the, uh, how these diseases progress. And my research centers on uh, how diabetes progresses, as well as the progression of heart disease. And again, we use uh, human tissues and large animal models of heart failure in which we can image um, the progression of the disease. And so my research is also reflected in my teaching. I have a, a molecular imaging curriculum in which I teach 
in these team-based courses. We start with a third year course, Medical Biophysics uh, 3518B, an introduction to molecular imaging in which basic principles of molecular imaging are introduced. Um, this leads into a fourth year course, Advanced Molecular Imaging, which is more of a self-directed uh, study course involving a number of different instructors and experts in the field. And if you stick around for graduate school, you can enroll in the collaborative graduate program in molecular imaging, which brings students across campus together who have a common interest in this field. So once again, welcome to the department, and I hope to meet you soon. My name is David Cohen, and I'm a current graduate student in the Department of Medical Biophysics. Now, previously, I graduated in 2019 from the same program, an honor specialization in medical biophysics. And what I really loved about the undergraduate degree is the fact that it's such a high focus on research. Specifically, it has two undergraduate research-based courses, one in third year and one in fourth year. Now, that third year one really lets you get your toes into research and gives you a good feel of what research is all about. Then that fourth year one is really where it hits home, where they really take what you learned in third year and start really applying it so that you actually have an impactful research experience. Very, not only unique, but also extremely important for when you're applying to either graduate schools or uh, medical school or even dentistry. 